Meow. <laughs> <sighs> Hello everyone, my name is Swingpoint and welcome back to some Stardew Valley. So, last episode, I talked to you guys about like, what's the point of watching something like Stardew Valley? And I'm gonna talk to you guys about what you told me. But before we get too into that, all the serious stuff, let's go ahead and let's listen to the TV here. Let's see what's the oh, TV, don't move on me. Come on, don't run away. Weather report. Welcome to Koju Five, your number one source of weather news and entertainment. And now for the forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Well, better than what I got right now. It's raining outside. If you listen to that. So we don't have any fun music, which is super lame. Well, let's go ahead and listen to the fortune teller. I still don't know what the luck thing is for. Ah, I sense a new viewer has joined us. A young man from Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. The spirits feel neutral today, and the day is in your hands. Yeah, I don't know what the luck part of it is. Anywho, there's a couple of things I want to get done here in Stardew Valley. You guys have inspired me to keep playing this game because... You guys gave me a bunch of really good reasons to keep playing it. What I want to get done today, or maybe not today, but I want to get done in this video is I want a chicken coop and I want some damn chickens. I don't know how much that takes, how much gold I need, how what it takes to build this darn place, but I want some chickens. That's my goal. But to go back to what you guys were talking to me about with Stardew Valley and everything that happens within this game and why people watch it, you guys gave me some really good explanations. And really, the explanations that were sticking out the most for me is that with a story game, the reason why people watch story games is for the story, but the bad part about watching a story game is like once you see the story once, it kind of loses its luster. But with a game like this, the Stardew Valley, where, I mean, there's kind of a story. There's a loosely based story with some of the characters and the NPCs, things like that, but it's largely open-ended and you can just keep going forever. The reason why people watch these things is because the creator, aka me, the YouTuber, goes ahead and makes a story that makes it unique for the game. And every single person that plays through it plays it a little bit differently, which is true for story games too. But it's especially true for these games where there isn't really a narrative at all. Why are you closed? So you guys really helped me out a lot with that. I really appreciated that. So what I'm gonna do with your feedback is I'm just gonna go ahead and play through this game and as I talk to the characters, put in things that are funny, put in things that I think make an enjoyable episode and we'll just go from there and just see how long we can play this. Why is there no music anywhere? It's so sad when it rains. I don't see any people, no music. It's not bright and cheery. I hate it. Anywho, I gotta go find Robin because that chick is holding out on my chickens. She can go ahead and build me a coop and I can put a little bit of chicken, chicken, chicken up in my, up in my little farm area, which is totally what I, what I want to do with my life. So let's go find this Robin girl. Actually, no, before we find Robin, I think the biggest thing that was really kind of holding me back with games like Stardew Valley or things where there's just not much going on and it's just goofy is I was just getting way too into my own head thinking it had to be like a certain kind of entertainment and that's totally not what it has to be I just needed to be like more open to the idea of trying something that I'm not familiar with that I'm not comfortable with and a part of what helped me do that is you guys giving me a good explanation as to why it made sense so again thank you for that ah Robin okay now I need you to build me a chicken coop girl what I need 4,000 gold and all this other crap. God, I got so much work to do to get this freaking chicken place put together. I want a chicken thing this episode. Oh my gosh, I don't know if we're going to get that done today, guys. Holy freaking crap. God, everybody's just so freaking cheap around here, man. Or not cheap, you know what I mean. Who are you, Demetrius? Local father and scientist? That's cool. You're studying local plants and animals from your home laboratory. Have I met your daughter? I Your daughter, Maru? What? Isn't that like a super famous fat cat? Where the heck is the super famous fat cat that you keep around here? Is it her? Oh my gosh, Maru, I need to meet you. You're a super famous fat cat inside of Stardew Valley. <laughs> you guys know who Maru is, right? Oh my god, the super famous fat cat's coming out. He's like this incredibly pudgy cat that like jumps into boxes. That's his thing. And everybody loves him on the internet. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? His daughter? Oh my gosh, you look, could be his wife. I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Ooh, you don't say. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter a community dynamic. How exciting! Mmm, she wants the duck bill. She wants the duck bill. Oh, this is someone's room? My bad. I was trying to leave. <laughs> she wants the duck bill, everybody. But you know what? I'm loyal to my, to my love, Elliot. Let's see how our relationship's doing. Um... Look at Maru's even single. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Now Elliot's got some competition. You know, I was trying to win Elliot's love. Elliot's gonna have to win my love because Maru seems like a nice girl. Cat. Alright, well, seeing as how I need money, I'm gonna go ahead and start off a couple of beansies. See what those are like. I'll buy five beans. 
And then I'll buy a bunch of parsnips again, all right? Let's try this. All right, so I got my beans planted and I got my parsnips. I don't know how much more I need to start expanding out or things like that. I'm still trying to get the hang of this thing, guys. I'll, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. But here's what we're starting with. Five things of beans. I know, I think there's sprinklers in this game too, so that might be really nice coming down the road too. Oh my gosh, I gotta build a scarecrow. That's one of the things I gotta do. Holy crap, I gotta do that too, guys. How do I do that? Yeah, I should just call myself like the ADD farmer because I am just all over the place and I play this game, man. I'm always just like, I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I always just keep forgetting what I have to do because I'm just so distracted with the next thing I have to do. All right, guys, it's a little dark at night. But I have built myself a scarecrow, so now I can go ahead. Oh my gosh, how do I how do I put this thing in the ground? Where do I put it? Oh, does he need like his own little area? Oh, that's so dumb. Ew. Okay. Well, you know what? I got my scarecrow. I'll I'll, I'll go ahead. Oh, eight eight tiles. He has a radius of eight tiles. I could put him right here. Oh, it's perfect. There he goes. Ha <laughs> ha. And now I can go look at my journal over here. Excuse me, I'll go take this 100 G you're gonna give me. It's like 11 at night and I'm putting a scarecrow up in my farm. <laughs> I'm that creepy guy in Stardew Valley. Oh my gosh, I gotta talk to you guys about what I've been doing with my computer too. I've been doing some cool stuff on my computer. Her name's Ivy. My computer's name is Ivy. And I go ahead and talk to her. See, like, look at this, look at this. Hey, Ivy. Hey, Ivy. Yes, Swainpoint. Aw, oh, there she is. And then, like, if there's ever, like, a really, really intense moment, I can be like, Ivy, I need some boss music. Isn't that cool? I am going and talk to my computer. It does cool things like that. It's pretty neat. And then I can tell her to shut up whenever I want. I, the, the one caveat is I need to, like, pause when I talk. Otherwise, she gets confused. So I'll pause here for, like, a second. That's enough, Ivy. See, and then she shuts up. Isn't that nice? That's so cool! So yeah, anytime there's a super intense moment, just know that I'll be talking to Ivy, and I'll be like, Ivy, I need some boss music. <laughs> I've been doing that all night to myself, and I just like keep telling her to shut up afterwards. I can't get over it, it's so funny. <laughs> that was a good day, time to go sleepy time for tonight. Level two foraging, ooh, I can make a survival burger, what? <laughs> Holy crap, it's gonna be the seventh of spring. You know what that means, guys? If you don't know what that means, you're a bad friend. It is Lewis's birthday today, so we gotta go ahead and give that old guy a handshake or whatever the heck he wants on his birthday. I don't know. He probably wants to go kick it at the saloon knowing him. So let's go find Lewis and talk to him. Maybe I can go get him a present. I don't know what that little old guy wants. First, I gotta look at my journal. I gotta build this stupid coop. Oh my gosh, I need so much gold, though. And I met 21 of 28 people, so we're making progress here, guys. Let's listen to the TV. Ooh, the Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce. Here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook, this week's dish. <laughs> Stir fry, mmm, a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens with a little sesame oil and make sure you add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply, hard. Oh, that's good. <laughs> you learned how to cook stir fry. Cool, I didn't know I could cook in this game, holy crap. Oh, I sent a new viewer has joined us, a young man from Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. The spirits are mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. Fucking spirits. Weather report, mm, Kozu 5, it's going to be beautiful and sunny. Perfect. Cool, cool, cool. Well, let's go do some adventuring now that it's nice outside and we got some nice music. We can go ahead and do some cool stuff. Sprinkles, 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 sprinkles everywhere. Well, let's go see what's in our mailbox for today. Holy crap. What is this? Come on. Oh, gosh, no. I want to read the back part of it. Okay. Dear Farmer Swingy Poop, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's a really a nice little house. However, you might need some space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With the kitchen, you'll be able to cook recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Man, what is with all these people sending stuff to my mailbox? I just want my cash money, bro. Jesus. Oh my gosh, we're going to the middle of everything and it's Lewis's birthday. You look thirsty. Oh, hi there. How's it going, Lewis? You look a little upset. <laughs> What an eyesore. Oh, I'm sorry, Lewis. Sorry you feel bad about Town Center or whatever this is. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It does kind of look like a piece of shit. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. I feel like I give him a different voice every time I talk. 
Now just look at it, it's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of a TV than engage with the community. I mean, I'm sitting at home playing a computer game. Come on, man. I'm the reason you exist right now. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Jojo Corporation has been hounding me to sell the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. They are the evil corporation, aren't they? Pelicatown could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics from the past. Ah, well. If anyone else buys a Jojo Co. membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. What? Whoa! Okay, well, I guess I'm not buying a membership. Holy crap! I can't allow this to happen. Oh, let's go inside. Because they're totally trying to recruit me, aren't they? Dude, I gotta be careful with what I do with my decisions in here. Holy man. Oh, wow. This place is a giant crap hole. We can fix her up, though. This ain't no thing. You should have seen you should have seen what my grandpa left me. Total pile of poopy. Hmm, what is this? I guess Vincent and Jess must have been playing here. How do you know? This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Go! Oh, what is that thing? Hello? <laughs> what? What do you mean what? Look at that thing. Eh, and it's gone. <laughs> Creepy, didn't know this was a horror game. What's the matter? Are you ill? Apparently. Yep, I'm a little woozy. Sorry. You saw something. Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if this place is full of rats. Is that what rats look like in Stardew Valley? Oh my god, there it is again. It's like rocking out like this. <laughs> Lewis is like, oh god, we got another one of those crazies. You're worrying me, swingy poop. <laughs> Do we need to get rid of you? Look, I think I'm just gonna go head home. I need some lunch. And I just sit there and glare at him like, fuck you. Hey, I'll, I'll keep this place unlocked from now. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. So, I'm guessing one of the things we can do is, like, patch this place up, right? Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. That was really weird. What was that all about? I'm going back in here and see what the- what the heck? Can I clean this up? No, doesn't look like it. What does this say? Rat problem? There's something odd going in the community center. Investigate the community center is our goal. Well, I'm inside and I'm doing the investigating. Wow, everything in this place looks like a total piece of crap. When's the last time you did anything for this place, Lewis? There's even mushrooms in here! Hmm... So... I mean, the rats seem like they're having a pretty good time in here, though, so maybe that's a good sign and it's not bad news bears? I don't know. Either way, I got an axe to deal with this rat problem. Wait, hello, rats. You're being a little creepy. You're giving me the trouble, is. Seriously, nothing? This feels weird. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, there's the rat. Get over here. Rat. What is this? I was watching a whole bunch of WD Gaster videos today, so this just kind of makes me feel a little uncomfortable inside. Not gonna lie, get out of my Stardew Valley, you creepy Undertale thing. That's it? That's all we're gonna s What? That's it. I investigated it, and that's all I got? Is this like a relic? Can I pick you up? No? Can I pull you out of the ground? Nothing, huh? I mean, I got room, it just won't let me pick it up. Because I feel like this would be a really cool thing to turn into the museum, right? Like, they might appreciate whatever the hell that thing is. Maybe not. I don't know. Do I need to wear, like, gloves to touch that special thing? I don't get it. Either way, I did some investigating. Okay, that just took a really weird turn. All I wanted to do was wish this freaking old man a happy birthday. He's got to be, like, 97 by now, so let's just go talk to him. Lewis, hello! Hi! I've been mayor of Pelican Town for over 20 years! Cool. Okay, let's try that again. No one ever runs against me when it's time for an election. I like to think that means I've been doing my job well. Oh my god, can I run for mayor and like kick you out? <laughs> That'd be so rude. What now? I like being mayor. <laughs> this really makes me feel like I can kick him out. <laughs> That's it? Come on, man! Your birthday! What do I do about this? He's probably gonna go get crunk at the saloon right now. It opens up at noon. Look at this! Lewis's birthday! Nobody cares? Come on! 
Did I make him uncomfortable? I just stood right in front of him. He's like geeking out now. And he gave me some dot dot. I think I scared him. Can I scare him again? No. Is this like your safe place? Like what was that? <laughs> okay, whatever, Lewis. You don't make no sense. Okay, so I tried giving this guy a gift. I don't know if I gotta go pick up a dandelion or what I gotta go do to go make Mr. Lewis happy. I don't know what he wants. Tried talking to him a bunch, which, I mean, if <laughs> it's kind of sad, but like that's all my grandparents ever want is for somebody just to talk to him. I tried talking to him, so I don't know what else I gotta do. <laughs> you haven't called your grandma or grandpa in a while, and they're still alive. Go ahead and give them a call. It's a good idea, man. They get lonely. Man, I, like, I, okay, this is something I've thought about a lot. Like, you know how old people are just kind of, like, out of touch with technology? Like, what are, what am I going to be out of touch with when I'm, like, 60 years old, man? And, like, we, I mean, the internet's here now, so we're, like, going to be connected to the whole world our whole lives, right? It's not like, it's not like there's, like, this huge barrier like there is for old people today and young people today, but you know, maybe there's gonna be a new barrier. I don't know what this is all gonna look like. Who is this pretty lady? Have I met you yet? Jody? Ooh, I'm taking a break from my house chores today. <laughs> what else, Jody? You're a bad girl, aren't you? Taking the day off. Mm. If I don't spend any time outside, I'll go crazy. Well, what are you doing? You're already outside. I don't want my legs to turn soft. Whoa! Whoa! She wants the D. You know, I feel like I could say that about every single person that I encounter in this game because I just have a dirty mind and that's just automatically where it's gonna go. She probably doesn't want my D or my bill or whatever. She just- I just think she does. Elliot, let's chat. It's been a while. Hello, I hope your farming life is panning out as you'd hoped. Anything else from me, Elliot? I love you. Nothing? God dang it. Is this Cloud Strife? Who are you? You're Sam. Oh, it's a nice day, isn't it? It is, Cloud. That's all you got for me, Cloud? Holy man, where's your buster sword, bro? I love the Final Fantasy games. Oh my god, Final Fantasy VII is one of the first games I picked up as I was growing up. It was such a good game. At least one of the first, like, really big story games that I got into. Loved it so much. Love Final- and then, and then my next one was Final Fantasy X, so I, like, super spoiled myself when it came to Final Fantasy games. They're so good, though! Oh my gosh, do you like the Final Fantasy games? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you have a favorite, let me know which one. Oh my- I don't even know which one's my favorite, honestly. Alright, so here's the last thing I want to do, seeing as how it's Lewis's birthday and we haven't really had any- Chance to- oh, fine, go inside. We haven't really had a chance to do anything with him. I want to go inside the saloon here and see if he's hanging out. Party time. What? It's your birthday and you're not going out to get a drink? You are the guy who was freaking suggesting this place. Well, here's a saloon. A little bit to check out while we're here. Huh? Can I, I can play video games. What? Journey of the Prairie King. What is this? Shoot? Oh, I've played games like this before. <laughs> My god, that's so cool. I can't remember what I played it on, but I'm, I've seen plenty of games like this. That's so neat. Ha, ha, ha. Cool! I, oh gosh, I gotta check out all the other mini games in here, man. Well, what's this game? There's a skull-shaped keyhole. Interesting. Well, let's see if there's anybody else hanging out in here that I haven't met yet. Pam seems out of it. Better leave her alone right now. <laughs> How about you? Oh, you're Gus. You're the guy who like owns this place. I don't like gets me my drinks. Who are you? Emily. Hi, Swingy Poop. Well, hi, Emily. Have we met? Do you raise sheep in your barn? You can turn their wool into beautiful boats of cloth. Holy crap, that's a great idea, Emily. You'll need a loom, though. Gosh. There's so much crap you can do in this game. That is so cool. Oh, wait, can I get the jukebox bumping like... Like he told me to? Come on, Lewis, this is you. This is for you. Load game theme. What else can I load? So there's probably a bunch of stuff I can do in here, huh? Neat! Well, you know what, Lewis? The saloon is not anywhere near as bumping as I was expecting. I'm kind of disappointed, actually. God damn it, Shane. I hate you. Why are you just such a jerky face every single time I encounter you? And this is just extras back here, huh? Come on, man. Lewis, you're supposed to be getting crunk right now. And all you're doing is sleeping at home like a real old man. God. Meow. I need to meet three more people. Oh my gosh, where are these people? Mm. It's a new day. It's a new day. I don't know if I told you I went sleepy time, but I did, though. Living off the land is back. Holy crap. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for you. Now listen up. Let's talk fences. Fences are useful for keeping weeds at bay and protecting your crops. They also let farmers contain their livestock. Fences break down after a while, but stone, iron, and hardwood fences last a lot longer than basic wood. Well, thank you, Mr. Living Off the Land. 
very important because I'm gonna go get some chickens eventually. It's gonna be a great day today, guys. And I even got some mail. I hope it's not junk mail again. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of Forest Lake in a stone tower. I may have some information concerning concerning your rat problem. M. Rasmodius, a wizard. What? The wizard in this game? What the hell? Where do you keep the wizard? Over here? What? Okay, I guess we're gonna go visit the wizard, guys. You know, the wizard's probably also the same guy who's on the freaking TV all the time. <laughs> all right, well, if I look at my map here and I look at my screen, it appears that this is the wizard's tower. So, let's go see what this guy's all about. And how did you know that I was hanging out inside the community center, sir? Oh gosh, this is gonna be so fun. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Come on in. Modius or something like that? Oh god. Oh god, this is gonna be so great. What you cooking up in that cauldron, guy? I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truth. Meadery between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elementals. Keeper of the sacred. Cha cha cha, you get the point. <laughs> and you, Swinky Poop, you are the one who's the rival I have foreseen. <laughs> Here, I'd like to show you something. Is that like a pentagram? What are you making? Behold! Whoa! The little thingy you've been cooking up. The little rat. It's so cute. It goes chirp chirp. Aw, oh, that's adorable. You've seen one before, haven't you? I have. I've seen a couple of them. At least three? They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits. These ones, for some reason, they refuse to speak to me. But they like me for some re Whoa, they like me for some reason. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. That's good, yeah, what about that thing I saw? Oh, you found a golden scroll with a written unknown language? Most interesting. Is he wearing a cowboy hat? <laughs> Stay here, I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. I don't have all day- oh. Never mind. Okay, let me go ruffle my feathers and stroke my duck bill for a second. I'm just gonna hang out here. Oh my god, he's already back, creepy. I found the note. And? The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. Wow, you are just a little bit of everything, aren't you? Jack of all trades. You can teleport, you can read foreign languages, you got pets, I don't know what else you got. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Well, I guess I gotta keep working on that. Hmm. One with the forest, what do they mean? Well, apparently you're not one with the forest if you don't get it. <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I got it now. <laughs> Come here. Oh, God. <laughs> This is a trip and a half. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. <sighs> Baby fern, moss scrub, caramel top toadstool, can you smell it? <sighs> <laughs> Ducks don't smell, do they? I, I don't even, they probably smell. Yeah, drink up and the essence of the forest permeates your body. Oh yeah, just, just glob it all over my face. That's how I drink things. Oh god, I'm green. Am I part of the forest now? Oh god. This guy gave me drugs. You know what? I'm not even gonna pretend like I wasn't expecting this. I was totally expecting some sort of weird trip. <laughs> oh man, I can just feel all the nature in my body right now. I feel like my arms are an extension of nature and they act as branches that can sprout brilliant plant life into the distance. 
That's what I got, man. Sorry. That's who I am. I'm a tree. You've gained the power of forest magic! Holy crap! Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Dunamo Scrolls. Holy crap, man. I kick ass. And that's it. Kick me out. We're done. It's a fun little thing we had. But now it's over. I'm not just a summer love, okay? I'm coming back. How's it going, guy? I've seen many things about your future, young Swingy Poop. If I were you, I would say there'd be grave co If you were to tell me, there'd be grave consequences. I call bullshit! Back to whatever the hell I was doing before I went on whatever the hell that was. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna have to end this episode of Stardew Valley here. Don't really know what I got done today. I mean, we did the wizard thing, so that was pretty cool. And we had a nice little talk about what we're gonna do with the rest of this video game. Still need to get my freaking chickens and my cows. It's all I want is all I want is some animals. I'm, I, somebody told me I'm gonna get a cat eventually because I asked for a cat. So I'm pretty excited to get some kitties. Well, like I said, we're gonna have to end this episode here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more Stardew Valley, go ahead and let me know. If there's things that you'd like to see me do in this game, let me know that as well, because I don't really know what I can all do. It seems like I could do a whole hell of a lot, though. So go ahead and give me some ideas, guys. It'll really help out a lot. Let me know, actually. Like, there's this little area over here. Am I supposed to build something next to that or what? Because it kind of looks like it used to be attached to something. Anywho, like I said, I'm done playing this game for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best, and I'll see you in the next video that we do around here. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Meow. Hello everyone, my name is Swingpoint, and welcome to a game called Death's Life. In this game, the player is supposed to try to kill the people within the game and then make it look like an accident. And they do so by using a Rube Goldberg type machine where you cause a bunch of different events